Hi, this is Paul Savetto of WPCentral.com, here with a video review of Civilization Revolution for Windows Phone. It's an Xbox Live title from 2K Games. Civilization Revolution is basically a portable version of the popular Civilization series, loosely based on the console version called Civilization Revolution. Okay, now to start with, you can play on either a random map, which is how I often prefer to play, or load up a particular scenario. There's a variety of these. They, uh, you know, change some of the rules of the game. But let's just start with random. Five different difficulties. If you play on Chieftain, the game is genuinely quite easy. The real challenge is just the learning curve. We'll get to that in a moment. You can choose to play as the ruler of a variety of different nations. More than ten will be Gandhi right now. Tapping on it shows what kind of bonuses that nation gets. Each one plays a little bit differently, not dramatically so. This is the advisor. Basically, you have a couple of different advisors and they give you little bits of advice. They speak out loud in Simlish, nonsense language. Don't really like the menus here, but if I wanted to learn about food and production, two important aspects of a city, I could tap on that, but I already know it. There's no way to completely disable these advisors, but you can at least end the tutorial phase. Okay, to start with, I've got a warrior and a settlement. A lot of the map is black, because we haven't been there yet. You know, that's called Fog of War. All right. The first thing you want to do is, let's see, go to City Management. The game doesn't really teach you to use city, city Control, but it's important. From here, I can set the city to either focus its resources on science or gold. If I have it on science, then it will complete research faster. If I have it on gold, then I'll earn more gold. We don't start with any gold. All right, I can also choose what kind of unit I want it to be building, or a building. Right now I don't have any buildings. And uh, at first you can only have a build of warriors, so we'll leave it at that. All right, now I want to start to fill in the map. So I tap on my guy and drag where I want him to go. He can only move a certain amount per turn. Now I have to decide what kind of technology we'd like to research. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. You start researching little basic things that a prehistoric civilization, maybe not prehistoric, but an early civilization would need to learn. Let's see, we'll go with horseback riding. All right, up, at, up here he'll tell you what kind of benefits there are to researching that technology. Usually you get a few different kind of military units or maybe you could learn to make different buildings. Now I have to manually click and turn. You can zoom out a little by Pinching. If you zoom out too far, though, the unit disappears, which is annoying. Okay, we now have built a second warrior. I can have him go up here. He just came across a new area, so we get a little... we get to name it. The names absolutely do not matter. You'll never see the name again. So you just tap on it, but you get a little gold for that, so... It's always a good thing, I guess. Here we've run across a barbarian village. Basically, they just harrow your guys a little. If I had an undefended city, a barbarian might come out and take over the city, which would be bad. But barbarians are really easy to defeat, so we'll attack them in battle. That was easy. All right. Sometimes you'll be rewarded with a new unit or pieces of information for winning battles like that. There are three ancient artifacts still undiscovered. That means if we explored enough, usually using a boat, we could find an ancient temple and get some bonuses. As you can see, the graphics really aren't very good. That's just not the point of civilization, though, so it's not such a bad thing in this case. The fun of this game is just watching your civilization grow and choosing what you want to do with it. There are several different ways to win. 
You can get a military victory, which means taking over all other capital cities, because there's going to be some other civilizations around. Alright, now we have horseback riding. And we'll go with bronze working. That'll let us make archers, an important early unit. Okay. Now I've got my city making horseback riders. Okay, so that's the flow of it. Eventually you get settlers, which you can send to start new cities, and you can build roads between the cities, build, build different buildings, and basically try to form an empire. And once your cities are strong enough, you can have all of them produce military units if you like, and go out and attack other cities. You can also win a cultural victory by getting enough famous people and buildings. And that's all there is to it. Now I've got this new unit. I'm just going to have him stay and defend the city. Civilization Revolution is a complex game. There is a lot to learn. The game does not quite teach you everything. Some of the stuff you'll have to figure out. Just make sure you get used to going to city control and having your cities go after either gold or science and determining what units they're going to be making. That's one of the most important parts of the game. Civilization Revolution is one of my very favorite Windows Phone games. It has a very high replay value. You can choose to be different civilizations or take on the different scenarios, and especially increasing the challenge makes the game more fun. If you, if you enjoy strategy games, this one is a must-buy. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.